Hey guys, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews. Now, this year at Computex, Corsair showed off the ML series fans. These are PWM fans with a 2000 RPM range, and they're designed to basically compete with the higher end stuff. So that's what we're going to test today. So let's start off with a physical overview. These are 120 by 120 and they're 25 millimeters thick or one inch. Um, they have a four pole PWM connector. So you can just plug into PWM connectors. It also works with three pin adapters uh, if you want to use it at a constant voltage and for example, run it straight off of the power supply. Uh, as you can see, there are seven blades per fan uh, and these are very, pressure optimized blades. They're very, very similar to the SP fan blade design. The central hub is slightly bigger than with a lot of other fans. Um, and that's because there is this brand new ML magnetic levitation motor in there. So there's basically no contact when it's running. With a lot of other fans, you'd get ball bearings, sleeve bearings. All right, so this is our test system. In the bottom of this Inwin 303 case, we have triple 140 millimeter be quiet silent wings two fans running at five volts just like this fan which is also running at five volts another silent wings two fan the test fans are going to be on the front of this d14 which is mounted to a delitted 3570k running um, the CLU thermal paste to get really good results there. In order to measure the ambient temperature, I got this weather station here and we're powering everything by a separate power supply, which makes work for me a lot easier because I don't always have to take the rear panel off of the case. The test procedure for temperatures is very simple. I have a 15 minutes OCCT lint pack test running. I take the average of the four cores All right then, so time for performance numbers. They'll be on your screen right now and I'll just explain what I think about them. Basically, if you look at just the performance numbers, we can see that Be Quiet and Noxla perform very similarly. It gets interesting once you take the noise levels into account. Now, I am aware that my noise level testing procedure is not the most scientific in the world, but it should give you some idea. So what you can see is that these ML120s at their lowest setting perform the same as a Be Quiet Silent Wings 2 fan at its highest setting in both temperature and noise level. So what this means is that if you're someone who wants a really silent system and like me, you're willing to sacrifice two or 300 megahertz of overclock just to make a system completely inaudible like the one behind me right now, you're probably best off going with the Be Quiet fans. But if you're okay with your system being slightly louder and you want an awful lot of air rushing through your radiator or your heatsink uh, because you want to chase just the highest overclocks on air ever and these are actually pretty good they move an insane amount of air like if you put them two meters away from you you can still feel the air going at 12 volts however you also need earring protection when doing so so guys if you like this video please press that like button if you didn't subscribe button or dislike button but preferably subscribe for when i make a video you do like and you can suggest those videos by using the comment area below which is also where you can put like questions or whatever really as long as it makes some sense if you want to follow me there is facebook and twitter and if you want to really support the channel there is paypal as well as Patreon, where I've been getting an awful lot of support from a guy and I'm really grateful for that. So if any of you want to join him, then, you know, that's where Patreon is for. For now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next week.